You must be famished. So are we, my friend, but one can't rush a fine meal. Is it sticking again? I'm afraid nothing out here works the way it used to. There's a bit of a trick to jimmying it open. I'll see to it once we've finished dinner. Please, there's no need for incivility. Though I certainly understand how hunger sharpens the temper. I promise I'll get the door open once we've had our meal. Until then, why don't you stretch your legs a bit? A nice walk around the house will surely limber them up. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. Doesn't sound like any medication I've heard of. Nothing legitimate, anyway. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. That's too bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. Some kind of off-brand drug, maybe? Wouldn't be the first or the worst. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Think they'll notice if we slip out first? something like this. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Quickly, my dear. He's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Here's the <laughs> <laughs> 